You can already tell by the thumbnail and the title of what this video is going to be all about. Because we are going to be playing some more Shadowfight Arena, guys. Welcome, guys, to yet another video by Boston Modern right here, where I'm going to be playing some more Shadowfight Arena to y'all, guys, and share with you guys my experience as we're now in just a lobby with a team of Fire God, level 8 Kibo, and level 7 Asuma. Yeah, a neutralizer. A fierce female offensive and also a bot that likes to explode and blow up other people while using shadow abilities for their waiting. So yeah, that's going to be our little team today. Full hero team, three different weapons, each with their own powers and also, well, strengths and disadvantages, also weaknesses. And yeah, we're just going to be checking it out. Checking out what what they what we're going to be really doing now for a level 8 Kibo we have details right here so basically I mainly focus on the Kibo really so firstly I'm going to be probably pulling up Kibo every single battle that I'm going to be doing and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to level 10 Kibo where I'm going to be unlocking confidence or shadow supremacy and uh, many of you guys know what they do confidence just going to be a quick freshing up for you guys who might just not remember that well confidence is uh, just increased damage if Kibo defeats your opponent or Shadow Supremacy, which is to get to get an uh, invulnerability shield while she's dashing around with her Shadow Onslaught, as it's called. Dash equals Shadow Onslaught. That's per definition in this game, if I'm not mistaken by that. So yeah, that's that. We're going to be going with Sun Trick in the first few battles, probably. And then we're going to be trying out Unstoppable Onslaught. Perhaps we're going to be trying some different builds on this video and also in the future videos of Shadow Fight Arena. There hasn't been much of Shadow Fight Arena guys and I already know that there's only been two videos been put out about Shadow Fight Arena about welcoming and stuff. But you guys have never really seen the progress as we've been going because a lot of things have been happening. Business, school. The only two things I kinda excuse myself over for not making that many videos. But uh, at this day I'm just going to be seeing if I actually have the right mood to actually make some videos for y'all and perhaps I'll be making two Shadowfire, vid Shadowfire Arena videos for y'all. So yeah, without anything further to say, I'm just going to be heading over here, look at our wonderful team right here and uh, check out what kind of builds we have. Well, for Fire God, we basically are going to be going with the build that I just want to go. Yeah, it's only left side of build and Asuma is going to be a different case as well. Yeah, I'm going to be checking out the old, all of the builds and then I'll catch you guys in the arena. All right, we're already on our first opponent. Ob day, if I'm uh, if I'm actually can pronounce that correctly. No, I, it's actually not Ob day. It's actually Ov day, Ov day, and uh, it's like a be trying to be using the liquidator as we can speak right here. Now, for speaking of level eight talents, we we basically have uh, two choices: either unstoppable onslaught or the shadow ability sun trick. Now, shadow abilities, new shadow abilities, is definitely there to try to get people to actually think about what this new shadow ability does and does uh, going to be helping you into try to ex execute some ex unexpected attacks if that's what you're thinking and this sucker just triggered yeah i can already tell that this gate already has legionnaire's luck uh that definitely won't happen again and my goodness this game has errors errors by errors by errors isn't that wonderful man wonderful to have so many errors throughout the game helps quite a lot in your everyday basis but now we're back and now we're just going to be rolling back, see what happens. Try to do that, nope, that did not work. Uh, well, she only has that, so let me see right here. Alright. That's going to be spacing. Look at that. And also going to be jump on you. Okay, that did not work. Alright, there we go. Now I should be able to hit her. There we go, man. There we go. Yeah, I haven't activated my sudden trick yet. Or actually, I lied. I already activated my sun trick whenever I was uh, whenever I was fighting against Kate. Man, this sucker is actually thinking about trying to get out, get Kibo out, so that he's going to be thinking, oh, I'm just going to be using my fell tree in the end. So yeah, I can definitely copy him if I want to, or just try to wreck him in all the all the fun different ways that we can with Kibo right here. Yeah, what are you thinking? You're not going to be starting with that lower attack against Kibo, who has very fast dashes. Oh, that was almost close. Alright, uh, let's walk around. Look at that. We do this, and then we walk back. And with, why did I dash towards this? Okay. At least this guy doesn't have a block breaker attack. Alright, let's see what he does. Oh, look at that. I actually stopped him. I stopped two of his abilities. Alright, let's roll back. You never really know if they're going to be very offensive or very defensive. 
Alright, that's not it. Look at that. You miss one shot ability, you always have a chance to do the other one. That's the that's a plus. That's the plus side with having two shadow abilities. Ah, uh, catching him big time! Look at that! Throwing shurikens. Ah, oh, he actually hit me like that. Alright. Alright, just gonna be doing this. He decided to roll towards my dash as of he's trying to be dodging my thousand cut shadow ability, but I wasn't doing that. You really have to try to anticipate your opponent as your as your controls are a bit slower. Now, of course, we're in this update, and I haven't been telling much of Intel, but but basically over the two weeks I've already been grinding. I basically been grinding quite a lot. And that's why I can make a level 8 keyboard video to y'all guys, so that you guys know that I wasn't being lazy with anything else. Because pretty much, I've been preoccupied mostly by Shadowfire Arena and actually getting to know most of the mechanics and stuff and how players think they're going to be using the mechanics of the game. Given that the flow of Shadowfire Arena is slower than uh, Shadowfire 3, mainly because of the controller response. Because the controller response for Shadowfire Arena is actually significantly slower than Shadowfire 3. And uh, based on that, genuinely, I would think that the developers did this because uh, the players want to anticipate each other more with a delay. So that the delay will help the players try to anticipate their opponent even more and try to pull out their set, see if they're actually... Set of movements, combos, see if they're actually going to be getting it right. But not everyone is satisfied by that because, uh, for one, it will feel like that the player is going to be executing more of their attacks if you if you don't if you feel like you feel like if the player starts hitting you then they might just want to continue hitting you with varied attacks and therefore a bunch of people rather play defensively if they actually still get hit and still try to go towards you to prize you or something or just wait until you get close enough for a throw. That's pretty much what it is. Alright, enough mumbling over a victory over a guy who didn't want to bother using a Suma hoping that he could actually knock down Kibo and the entire squad because this squad genuinely uses Shadow Energy. Although, although one can actually handle Shadow Energy. Alright, let's move on to another battle, see who we meet. Oh, another person, Dark Milk. Let's see what he's gonna be bothered. He might be greedy. He has two... He has two enemies, well not really enemies, but just two characters that can actually handle Kibo, although uh, one is going to be a bigger problem to Kibo than another, and instead he decides to go all out shadow battle, shadow energy battle, because two of these because two of these characters actually use a lot of shadow energy and I actually thought you were going to be running out of that, alright, what are you going to do? That ain't happening man. Oh look at that, catching him! Still using the sun trick, yes, 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 yes. I'm still using sun trick. All right, let's roll back. All right, we block that. Look at that. And then we go towards him. We're going to be trying to anticipate him a little bit right there. All right, we failed. Let's not worry too much. Look at that, because we can always do stuff. Oh, we literally got to get up first, and therefore we can pull out the bow. That's quite unfortunate. All right, let's see what he's going to do. That's a punish right there. Just gonna be waiting a little bit. And then throw this. And that canceled that out. Oh, he had another bow. Kind of pity. And I lost my internet. That's lovely. Will I be able <laughs> to actually continue my thing with Kibo? Alright, walk around, walk around. Look at that. Alright, 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 alright. Really? Really, my dude? Looks like I lost my Kibo. Alright. Wow! Wait, wait, wait! I wasn't even paying attention. Was he still using Shadow for man? That is too cheeky. All right, we all know what we gotta do. I could have been greedy in the first place, but this video is all about level A Kibo, and sadly I didn't get much show in the second round right there. So now we're just gonna be trying to see if we can actually get farther with this other build right here. And this uh, sucker decides to pull out the bow and then like try to mess around with connections so like he could get all of his moves executed. Man, imagine that. It's about this disconnect trick that's been uh, that people have been babbling around all this time. Hold on, let's see what happens. Look at that! Oh wow! I actually thought it would hit me, but it didn't. It was just a it was just a bonus damage after the 
It was just a bonus damage after the neutralization. Of course, you could just like snitch the damage onto him and then uh, wait for the extra damage to apply. But the, the neutralization is to just prevent opponents from using Shadow Energy. Although, logical choice of him using Helga at this point. Because Helga doesn't use Shadow Energy. So that makes total sense that he actually used that. And why? Why is it? Why are there connection problems? I don't get that. Come on. It's been like two connections problems, I pretty, I'm pretty sure. Alright, what you gotta do? Ah, looks like I guessed you correctly on that one. Alright. Roll back. Ah! Oh, almost had him! I almost freaking had him. Can't believe that. And that also doesn't make any sense for my own part. Oh, come on. This is really like the second time I'm getting the error, really. Yeah, it's been like the second time I'm getting the error. Look at this. This is like some disconnect trick that people will be babbling about. Because it awfully looks like it. It awfully looks like it. I, I can't believe it, man. I, f I feel like he's doing it. <laughs> because what it, what the disconnect trick that I've just been figuring out, People, some people have been babbling around through Facebook group that I'm part of. Was it uh, was sounding like oh you just disconnect so that your attacks could flow through instead of your opponents? You know it kind of makes sense, kind of makes sense, but hey, that wouldn't be a particularly fun fight. And uh, what's he up to, man? This is like the fifth time we actually get an error. You see, you see my experience right here. I'm actually back in my house, and I actually had that experience before. So yeah, and he gets another one. Really wonder if that's like when he's gonna pull his gun or something. I don't know. Bruh. Look at this video. This video is literally affected by this. Have some of that. Alright, get punished. At least he's starting to do an attack. Wow, he still hits. I still don't get that logic. I honestly don't get that logic. Alright, do that. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's the best logic I've ever seen in my life. Look at that! Ah! Just gonna roll back a little. Oh my goodness, what is that? It's like your seventh time having an error, man. I'm trying to focus a little bit right here. It still just gets silly looking errors. And apparently that lasted longer than what I anticipated. No, you're not gonna land any of that. Come on, game over now. Now we're pretty even, although I won't be able to do another explosion on him, sadly. So yeah, that's that. There goes that part. Now let's see what happens now against the Felcher, because apparently this was the scenario he was kind of hoping for, I guess. So he's just going to be doing this. That's what I thought he was going to do. Going to do that. And uh, just going at him, pretty much. Oh, you really had that? All right. Still don't get that. I kind of want to try to anticipate that. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm definitely losing this one. Well, that was sad. That was sad. I could, I was trying to pick him up because usually he's acting like every other player. Mostly relies on ranged attack and uh, strong attack whenever they play out sumo. That's literally what I see right there. So yeah, and again, as the tip said in the new update. Predictability is your biggest enemy. I could have literally predicted that if you're if you were really trying. Alright. Everything went no. Nah, that was there was technical problems, okay. There was technical problems. Different different persons, man. Different person. New person, new opportunities, new chances. And let's see who's gonna be choosing. Two of them can well one of them handles shadow energy. Two of them actually handle shadow energy. One doesn't use shadow energy. And uh, once those six, seven, I can presume that Hongju has special effects. Or Dancing Fool. Don't really know about the other one, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Core. That's also one thing as well. Because, alright, let's see what he has. Let's see what he has with Hongju, because I pretty much know what kind of tricks he might have. Also, if you guys notice that they've actually updated the UI for the Triumph. It's not like Parabola or anything. Alright, let's roll back. See if this works. Nope. He's literally winging like that. Alright. Nah, man. He's just waiting. 
I can't believe it. That's literally the one move he's waiting to do all the time. And he still managed to duck that, I swear. I could have sworn, man. Look at that. Now we're starting to hit. Oh, he was trying to be cheeky right there. But I'm getting him now. I'm getting him now. Yeah, also, by the way, I'm using Unstoppable Onslaught. Let me try. Nah, it doesn't work. Yeah, I still could be waiting, my dude. I still could be waiting. He's gonna be waiting. Look at that. He didn't use his fireworks. I have so high suspicion that he's gonna be using... Yeah, I have so high suspicion that he's using Blazing Bite. Look at that. Oh, come on, really? Look at that. Wow, he's still blocking it. So little time left. I'm just gonna pressure him that way. Alright, big mistake right there, mister. Sorry, man. And that, and that time flow right there, and my lucky hits just put it to my advantage right there. So yeah, this is actually the very first time, guys, that I'm using, uh, that I'm using Unstoppable Onslaught with Kibo. So let's see what really happens. So I'm almost full with the Shadow Bar, really. So why not just try to do a lot of Unstoppable Onslaught as we speak? Alright, let's see what you do. Alright, let's wait a little bit right there. Oh uh, yeah, that definitely did work. Yep, and that definitely did work, man. So he was just going all out with the filter. Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. We can have a fair fight then. We can have a fair fight then. That's all completely fine. Completely fine. You know, Asuma is a big problem for Kibo. But what about two Asumas? Two Asumas. Two people who can handle Shadow Energy. Let's see what he does. I mean... Yep, got him, man. Look at that! Uh, I knocked his shadow energy out. That's good. Oh, wow. I can't believe he was actually anticipating that. He's still hitting me, bro. Come on, man. Look at that. Roll back! Bro! And he still manages to throw the kunai before me. Yeah, this is the sensation of if you actually get hit, your opponents can still continue their attacks, which is kind of pity in one way. Swear, man. I triggered countermeasures with Asuma, though, but now I literally have to deal with this. This very this. Alright. Look at that! I'm catching him! Oh, man, that was unexpected by him, wasn't it? You made a big mistake right there. Just gonna be waiting. And there we go. Now, let's hope that we can blow Kate up, shall we? Let's hope that we can blow Kate up. She's gonna be reducing our shadow energy, but if we just keep our distance and prevent her from hitting, we can literally just wait. But I'm not ca that kind of player, really. I will just go out mad at her if I gonna. Alright, let's see what she does. Alright, cool. Cool guess, my dude. Cool guess. Alright. So we're already dealing very high damage. This is going to be trying to see go all out on her. Look at that. Four combo. What are you doing? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's very clever. Let's go. That's exactly what I was planning, man. Yeah, she gonna be doing that as, as I fire guys my last character. Not a good idea, man. You're gonna be doing that. Lock me in place just to explode at you. Uh, that's a fantastic way to end this video right here, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna be just gonna be doing three battles. Perhaps that's gonna be a, the everyday basis, pretty much, with Shadowfight Arena. But really, what a way to end this video right here. Just blowing up the Liquidator because she fought. She was clever when she threw. When she threw that uh, modified variant of Pierce perk, you know, Pierce shadow ability, right at a bot that can literally just explode at her. Man, that was just that was just outsmarting. That was just outsmarting. Not gonna lie. 
kind of planned that and kind of not thought about that at the same time if I were to be completely honest. But, you know, you still you can surprise your enemy in many, many ways. You can surprise your enemy in ways that others wouldn't really believe. And this might have been one of them. Yeah, just roll towards your enemy. Don't even, don't even care much that you got to get hit because I just rolled to an enough distance to just blow her up. So when she thought I was making a big mistake, she realized that she made a very big mistake herself. Half her goes out, and there goes my victory serve. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and uh, if you guys uh, now just want to get more adequate gameplay with uh, characters such as Kibo and also all the other characters that have been unlocked so far, if we tap continue, we are we are also un we are we unlocked everyone except for the emperor because my dojo is not at level eight, and this is all the progress I've made so far. So yeah, I could definitely just compose some builds, mixed faction builds. Mix action builds and also change, probably tweak a little bit with combinations of perks that could also be something. Other than that, that is that is just my progress and perhaps I was just gonna be well, I'm just gonna be trying to build some progress after all. And we have Jet level 3, Marcus at level 4. Now that Marcus is actually available to get through the cards shop and also in the chest. Now that people now people won't have an easy time trying to get keyboard cards. Now now that keyboard and Marcus is not part of the part of the parameter luck so now Mar Marcus takes the percentage of the of the chances of whose character you're gonna get when you get an epic card that's what I mean but anyways guys again I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did be sure to hit that like button to share support and if you knew and enjoy my overall content be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you'll become a part of the boss mod community where you're going to be continue playing some Shadowfly Arena and uh, some Shadowfly 3 and also be covering up some news now yeah there's been an update I didn't really cover that, but perhaps I'm going to be talking more about it because I just talked a little bit about it during the video. But anyways, until then, I'll catch you guys in another one.